Democratic nominee for president. And I intend to do everything I can to make certain she will be the next president of the United States. With that, former Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Remember, Sanders throws his support behind nominee Hillary Clinton. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kelsey Fabian, in for Cindy Williams today. The Vermont senator made the announcement in New Hampshire this morning at Portsmouth High School. This is a live picture from the event. The endorsement is the culmination of weeks of negotiations between Clinton and Sanders' campaigns. Today's endorsement comes at a controversial time for Clinton, with the Benghazi mail email investigation still in question. Clinton hopes the young Americans who overwhelmingly supported Sanders during the Democratic presidential primary will now help support her campaign. Meanwhile, Donald Trump will be campaigning in Indiana today alongside the governor there, Mike Pence. Governor Pence will introduce the Republican presidential candidate. Today, the rally could serve as kind of an audition for Pence, who is considered one of the top contenders to become Trump's running mate. Can you imagine if I said that? And the summer heat has returned and it's really warming up today. And Todd Guttner joins us now from the outside with a first look at weather. Hey, Todd. A couple will be sentenced today for a series of home burglaries in Bangor. Nelson Kaiser pleaded guilty to breaking into eight different homes during August and September last year. Those homes were on Howard Street, Harvard Street, and Essex Street in Bangor. Police say he stole thousands of dollars worth of jewelry and electronics. His girlfriend, Lindsay Pelkey, is accused of pawning the stolen items. She was finally turned away from the pawn shop on her fourth trip after the owner noticed things she pawned were reported stolen. Right now, President Obama is on his way to Dallas to speak at an interfaith memorial service and pay tribute to the fallen officers and their families who were killed by a sniper last Thursday. President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden are expected to attend the service, as well as former President George W. Bush and his wife, Laura. Funerals will be held this week for three of the officers. This comes after a candlelight vigil was held in downtown Dallas last night for the officers. More than a thousand people gathered to honor the men including police officials and friends of the officers. Portraits of the officers were propped up in front of the speaker's platform. The Maine Department of Public Safety is advising Mainers to avoid picking up bottles alongside roadways. The reason is a record-breaking year for methamphetamine manufacturing in the state. MDEA agents say they responded to 86 meth calls so far this year. That compares with 56 meth incidents from all of last year. They say half of those calls were meth dump sites, usually involving plastic soda bottles used to make meth. A man who was shot by his ex-girlfriend is now facing charges. Police say Chris Tatton broke into Renee Lee's home in Eddington. Last month, Lee and her infant daughter, along with another couple, were in the home at the time of the break-in. And according to the affidavit, Tatton got into a fight with Lee and another man. The man then grabbed his gun and pointed it at Tatton while someone called 911. When he did not calm down, police say Lee grabbed her own gun and shot him. Tatton is recovering from his gunshot wound and is being held at the Penobscot County Jail. He is being charged with burglary, aggravated criminal trespassing, and violation of protection order. Officials at a bank here in Maine are investigating a potential skimming incident. The York County Federal Credit Union says it believes someone put a skimming device on an ATM at its Main Street branch in Sanford in May. A skimming device can be added onto an ATM to steal users' card information. It reads the magnetic strip on the back of the card, and as it slides through, the bank believes this was an isolated incident and has informed potential victims. Welcome back. Todd is here to talk to us a little bit about weather. And I was saying, I haven't been out in the last two <laughs> hours, but when I was in Portsmouth this morning, it felt nice Beautiful. out. And that was the, the most comfortable part of the day, early this morning. And, and I was trying to advocate that and recommend to you know, people that go and walk the dog once a day or go do a jog once a day. Do it in the morning hours. So I was out during the best time. But you weren't doing exercise, I don't think. Well, I, I was working hard. <laughs> <laughs> working hard. There you go. Is that what you called that? I was reporting. <laughs> Just kidding. Ugh. Just kidding. Todd is always giving me a hard time. Mm -hmm. I think it's the other way around. <laughs> anyway, 